at the core of it all, it's always been about taking a small amount of money, working my ass off, and making a big amount of money. Deal has been made. Locked up eighty-four fucking thousand dollars. How's that going? Right now, I have a medium amount of money. So there's still there's still this, but it's going it's going pretty fucking awesome. Come on, that's what I'm fucking talking about, man. So it's all about money. It's about what money can do for your life, for my life, my family's life. Do you think you're good at poker? People will never give me credit because I'm this goofy, intense content creator, but I've done the work. I've worked my ass off. I've put in the time. Do you ever come close to giving up? Like a hundred times, <laughs> yes. Oh! Can't win every all-in versus me! Are you a hero or a villain? <laughs> that is for the audience to decide. That's not for me to decide. I am who I am. This is me. I'm a fucking monster. Let's go, man! A hundred K locked up? What do you want more than anything in poker? I want a motherfucking bracelet. this come watch me win a bracelet kmart poker is now streaming on youtube hello do you Day two, baby. Day two, baby. The ones that hit me the most just like, like me. me. You tell me what that means. Make a slick comment and see what that All right, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. How the hell are we feeling? 
Just playing for $380,000 today. Hope life is good. Dude, I was at a wild wedding last night. It was so fun. I don't even know what... Am I going to play more games here? What kind of schedule are you going to bite out? Going to miss the five hundo. Amazing score. Uh, last stream, you guys. What did we bang off there? Big, big, big score in the uh, 1K. Oh, we're just on break as I'm registering some games. Of course, day two, man. Bracelet event. This is the tournament here. I just saw the slice of action. Dude, the day two markup is just so insane. I never try to scalp people in markup, but maybe I'm undercharging. Like, I posted my markup and it sold out in like two seconds. Maybe I should charge more. Everyone goes, all these guys go 2.0. Should I just max? All these guys go 2.0 and it just sells. So crazy. 1.75. Maybe I should sell more. I don't know. But I never want to scalp people in markup either. You can jump in some satellites. Probably play the millionaire maker. I don't know, man. I was a little hungover this morning. Still trying to feel out... Uh, what kind of schedule I'm gonna bite off? Because we have a huge day tomorrow. Like maybe it, maybe I go lighter today. I don't know, but whatever. We're gonna go deep in this day too. Also, I'm streaming on Kick. I'm live on Kick for the first time. Kmart Poker. If you want to watch the show there, you can watch the show there. Why not? Why not? I'll stream on Kick. Sure. Let's just see it. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Welcome to the show, everybody. A lot of hype already. Your curry, Deborah's Kitchen, Vin, the BB president, what's up? Oh, yeah, so on the chat now. The chat will combine both Kick and um, YouTube. So you can comment from wherever. It's going to be the same chat. What up, Michael, Jake, Ariel, D Lordy. Let's fucking go, man. Uh, what up, really big dabs? What up, Hulo? You live, baby. Ready to kick some serious ass. Pop it off in one minute. We got 51 big blinds. This is what we're playing for. We're playing for $380,000. Dude, I, I woke up a little hungover this morning. I woke up a little hungover, but I think we're fine. I think we're okay. I did. I walked outside. I hit the sauna. I got a sweat. Then I did a cold shower, hot, cold water, Advil. I think we'll survive, bro. I had a friend tell me once a hangover was a state of mind. If you don't think you're hungover, you're not hungover. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do today. All right, phone's away. Game starting. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yo, day two, mini million. It's the flow show. Yes, yes. We got 51 big blinds in this son of a bitch. Everyone's on the stream. My place is which? Gonna get first for 380 fucking K. Hey, that wouldn't be a very bad day. Hmm, yes. A bracelet is what we want. I always got the little bit of a flow going, but then I say a stupid lure like want. What am I supposed to rhyme with want? Haunt? Savant. Oh, is a bracelet is what we want. Yes, Kmart is the poker savant. Mmm, a dog in the streets. All right, all right, fuck. I just don't have it. I don't have it this morning. Here we go, guys. Mini main. Good luck. Good luck. We have 500k. Welcome everybody to the stream. As we'll break down the tables. Kmart, I love that 
Uh, shirt, where'd I get one? Dude, it's my merch. Bro, go to Kmart Poker. Kmartpoker.com, this is my website. You go to the merch, it's right here. This is one of our best sellers. The Do You Believe t-shirt. The Do You Believe t-shirt. I believe, baby. I believe. How am I ever gonna lose big pots with Ace King in this spot? Quickly, quickly, just going to send out a tweet. First equals Let's get it. Dude, it went to this awesome wedding last night. It was a legendary Calgary poker couple got married. Shout out to Haven and Sandman. Congratulations. It was so much fun, man. I really had such a good time. I didn't know if I was going to make it because of um, the GG schedule or whatever, but uh, I had to go. We all went. It was so fun. Again, also streaming on Kick. I'm not going to monitor it, though. Just, I just want to stream on Kick. See how it goes. See how the website goes. If you guys want to watch on Kick, um, you can watch there as well. I never want to... Okay, gonna fold the 6-3 suit. Okay, let's check out the table. I got 20 bigs to my left. Guy seems like a small 6 reg. This guy is a reg. Ding Bio, I recognize him. This guy seems probably pretty good. Don's there. Couple shorties. William Wolf. Got a couple other games going on, of course. Where the fuck do I really even start? I got hoes I've been keeping in the... Dude, I've been listening to tons of trap rap music. So much trap. What happened to Twitch? Yeah, Twitch was my home for a long time. We're exploring. We're an explorative state. Dude, I don't know what kind of Kmart you guys are going to get today. I'm going to focus very hard on the poker, of course. But I am in a silly, goofy mood post-wedding. We had a lot of fun. We had a really good time. 10-5 suited. Do I peel one? Uh, pretty bad suited hand. Getting six and a half to one. I can probably peel one big in the satellite. I'm glad I did because we flopped 10 high flush draw. And let's go all in. I don't really think they're bluffing very much here. Probably not, but... 10 high fluster on the satellite. We're going to see if we can get into the Millionaire Maker. If he folds, that would be pretty cool. Oh, we got the overcard. We got the flush draw. Now I got the gut shot, although it's a good turn for him. An eight. All right, let's get in the millionaire maker for cheap. Let's get in the millionaire maker for cheap. Five hundred K here. We are in the money. I got some chips here versus Damien Salas. Probably raise this bad suited hand in the satellite. Dude, that wedding last night was literally a convention for Alberta poker players. It was so great. All the industry leaders were there. All the big players were there. 
Okay, this is the 200 daily warm up. I late rage lost one pot. Now I got 6.5 big blinds. So I'm going to be all in. Again, the 215 bounty hunter big game. And I'm not going to play very big stakes besides the day two. I'm going to keep it pretty low on the side, I think. We'll see what kind of day we can have. Satellite here, definitely gonna raise. Hi, yeah. I haven't V pipped here yet. 850 players, 380k for first. 380k for first. I'm gonna bluff here versus Nick. Good to see everybody. Great energy this morning. I need it, guys. I need you to carry me in the energy department today. My brain is lacking on the dopamine. What about one big blind here? Button cut up, hijack open. I open off this like really short stack. Nice, we get it through versus Nick. Any other last longers? No, I have no last longers today, but I will do more. Last longer's for sure, this uh, series. Really like the last longer feature. Hmm. Yes. Indeed. Does anyone know somebody who can teach me how to rap? Does anybody know a rap coach? I would literally take freestyle coaching. Like, to be able to spit a basic flow, I've always found it insanely cool. I really enjoy when uh, somebody's flowing a little bit. Okay, got five tables up. Welcome everybody to the show. Welcome, hi. Shows have been very enjoyable lately. So today's is five suited. Okay, kick is about four seconds ahead, all right. As long as there's no, like, uh, serious spoiler potential, we're fine. <laughs> okay, I have eight, five of spades. What do we have locked up? We have, ooh, 12, that's a bigger min catch than I thought. 1,276, that's a bigger min cash, cash than I thought. I'll be calling an all in from the button for sure. Ace, five suited. If William Wolf calls, I will just fold. Yeah, I'm just gonna fold. Like, sure, I could power through this, but there's gonna be a lot of traps here with like really, really strong hands. Given the shove and the call, maybe I should blast it here for 50, pick up these chips. But then even if I pick up these chips, I need to win the hand here, so it's not worth it. I'm gonna fold. I'm gonna fold. In this case, it would have been a really nice spot. But the thing is, like, again, I don't win those eight bigs automatically. I still need to win versus this hand. And 50 is too much to risk. 10 9 is a bit of a light shove there, honestly, for eight bigs. Especially near the bubble, near a ladder. I think a reasonable decision. Would have been really happy to call a button, but. William Wolf with a nice start. Gonna fold this one. Just gonna jump over here. I have Ace King suited. Daily warm up. It's gonna be all in versus the button open. Guys, we've been heatering lately, man. I'm on one of my biggest upswings ever. I'm on one of my biggest upswings ever. And I don't think we should stop. Big pickup, honestly, when you get a 10 big blind shove through. I wonder if there's players that would like grip and rip the ace five suited there because small blinds mostly gonna fold. Small blinds mostly gonna fold, but like they're gonna have aces, kings, queens, ace, king suited as these trap hands. It would just be really devastating to get it in there. 
That button shove was very wide. Welcome everybody. Wow, already a thousand people here the day two. Cameron, what's your biggest cash ever? I cashed third in the Colossus for $207,000. $207,000. Two hundred and seven k USD. It was a nice cash. Hopefully, we can beat it today. What do I need to beat it today? I need top two to beat it today. Is it possible? Of course, it's possible. Anything is possible. You guys remember Kevin Garnett? Anything, anything is possible. Cameron, when are you going to play another 10k? It's been a long time since I've played a 10k, and to be honest, I'm not missing them. I'm not missing them. The 10ks were in my head, dude. They were in my brain. I'll flick one in for, if there's like bracelet 10ks, I'll probably play one or two, take some shots. Was Doug Lee there? No, Doug Lee wasn't there. Yeah, this wedding was a Alberta poker player convention. It was so cool, because... I battled and like competed with a lot of these uh, guys and girls, but I'd never really seen them off the felt, right? It was nice. It's not like more of a human side of them. Because when you're in a poker tournament, when you're in a poker room, you're a little bit in like a competitive state. I'm going to shove Ace-3 uh, suited here. 47 pay. Just got to rip this hand. Hope you run good. Thank you, man. Nice takedown. So we already got a good start in the satellite. Maybe we can get in the millionaire maker. Good start in the um, daily warm up. Haven't V pipped here. And will not V pip the ace deuce. I'm going to shove here in the satellite. 14 bigs, 11 bigs, 19. This is an easy shove. Looks like there's eight tickets. We bagged the mini main off of one bullet, which was great. We begged the mini man off of one bullet. Hey, five bucks from Jake. <laughs> what? Are you Santa Claus, Jake? One bullet. We already guaranteed 1449. 300k would be quite the hangover career, wouldn't it though? No, I don't feel too bad, honestly. Like I woke up feeling like shit. Just just your my body's like inflamed. I don't get smashed very often. <laughs> Last night we got smashed. Not the main event, but we got the birds here. We got smashed. All the poker players were like Drink, Kevin, drink. I'm like, guys, I have a huge stream tomorrow. I have a huge day, too. And they're like, ah, oh, fuck it. You'll be fine. I just fell to the peer pressure. I had no resistance. So we get in the aces here. I had absolutely no willpower versus the poker community. Boom. Cash in the WCB online series will appear in Hendon Mob. I don't think so. Oh wow, we get back to back aces. Literally, we just get back to back aces in this tournament. Doesn't happen very often. You don't get aces very often at all. Hopefully, I get some action. It's kind of a weird spot with this guy being all in now. I think there's not even a single chip ahead of him. Oh, this is lame. I'm gonna limp. I'm gonna limp. An underwhelming amount of action there. Guys, I got aces over here too. I got aces here. I wish I had him in the day two of the mini main, but. I got aces over here as well. 
No, I'm just kidding. I don't. Just here. Just here. I've had a, a lot of different coaches. No action. Big pot brewing between these two guys. Oh, just a set. Just aces, aces, and then a set. I raised cutoff, but it's a little bit weird with button being so short. I think I just go small here. Middle set in the crazy eights. Come on, Kawa. Was this guy this guy was this guy at the party last night? He's rocking the Canadian flag. I think I'm shoving here. He hasn't raised very much, but Pete in the cutoff, he's gonna take spots. We have this beautiful fold equity hand. Hard to call off tournament life. Nice, beautiful. Picking up chips like that in the satellite is just so sexy. <laughs> All those are side events compared to this. What happened here? This guy made quads. Button raise, a three bet from the small blind call. 887, he just flops quadzillas. He bets. It's a good bet. He shouldn't slow play here. Call. Check. Bet. Call. Check. Check. Nice hand. He makes quads. Yo, a lot of people watching already. Guys, if you can do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. An early like to send the run good. I've noticed on the previous VODs, the more likes I have, the better I've been running. Queen on off in the big blind. 40 bigs. Button is really short. Cut off open. Off a of 35. Gonna defend, gonna give him a pretty normal cut of open range. Maybe a pip tighter. Like maybe he's missing some of the offsuit nines with this guy and this guy and me. All right, we're gonna defend off a 35 effective. Caught a piece, caught a piece, but ace jack nine. Could be a little challenging. It's pretty big on the size. Really close between honestly just folding this hand. Wow, I think I'm gonna make it insane. Nah, for two bigs I can't. Let's call. This hand just like really sucks as a continue versus two bigs on this board. Wow, they go small again. That's really unique. I think I'm just going to fold. Versus three now. Don't really think they're bluffing to the size. The queen is bad. I almost just mucked the flop. It's really close. Just on that board, we're in so much pain land. Nice hand. We got a good chance to satellite into the Millionaire Maker today as well. GG is doing a cool promotion where the final 100, if you make the final 100 in the Millionaire Maker, you're going to play it live in the Bahamas for a bracelet. William Wolf. Wolfe. 
I'm gonna shove. This hand works really well as a shove for 12 bigs. Obviously, I hope he folds. But 30k in the middle, jack 3 suited. Yeah, this is gonna be a very profitable rip. Nobody's home from Kachi Wo Miro. You know, a little scary shoving these spots, but we're just gonna trust the math and our pregame prep we've done. We know that's a good shove, so we're just gonna take it. So we win our first pot. So we lose a small one, win a small one, 450k. Again, really gonna try to dissociate. Sometimes with day twos, it's like, oh, I started day two with 500k. I started day two with 500. We're gonna really try to just let that emotional tie fly into the wind like a huge fart on a blustery day. We're just gonna let it float away. There's no need. It doesn't matter what we started the day with. It matters that we have 37 big blinds in day two. That's what matters. We need to let that emotional tie fly, fly, fly away. King five just gonna be folds. Fifty away from the money. Can't call that shove. Eighty seven hundred. I beg this off a of one bullet. I beg this off a of one bullet, you guys. Five hundred dollar tournament, twenty five dollars goes to rake. Two four point one million in the prize pool. Four point one million dollars. Four point one million. Gonna shove this in the satellite. We're there are eight seats, easy shove. Hoping for folds, of course. Picking up chips without showdown, very good in the satellites. Good. Good. Go back to the satellite. I think min raise here is good enough. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna do shit out of the big blinds. Fuck it, we're just gonna shove. If these stacks were a little bit deeper, I think we played min-raise and do some shoves from broadways, but... Where the fuck do I really even start? Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah, hope life is good, everybody. Hope you're having a good weekend. My brain is fucking foggy right now. I'm really gonna try to dial in on the poker, but... I'm telling you, last night was wild, man. I don't do that very often. I don't... I needed it. a little social, uh, little social juice. It's so good. These guys have a blind on blind hand. I defended one hand on the big blind and then I shoved Jack three. Besides that, been a pretty quiet opening level here. I really think he is ace high. Can we value bet against ace high? He's eight sevens, fives, fours. Now we'll just check and win. Yeah, last room was nasty. I uh, four bet ripped queen ten suited. My coach says it's good in certain spots. Remember that, everyone? I shoved Queen 10 suited. Everyone, oh, what a punt! What a punt from the streamer! Yeah, sometimes you gotta punt it in. It was aggressive. It was aggressive. In theory, it was a really good hand to bluff. The people that understand the spot, what he's 3-bet bluffing out of the big blind, I unblock the bluffs, I block his value, and then... It's too bad he had jacks, though. That was a nice score. That was a nice score. 50 away from another ladder. I'm eager to get in there. Blinds are up, we got 31 bigs. 
Let's go here in the satellite. If we win a big pot here, I don't know, we could be in prime spot because it's eight tickets. If you get ninth, you get six bucks back. I'm not concerned about the six bucks. Uh, gonna call here. Should be dominating them a fair amount of the time. Hopefully they took a Broadway. Big pot, ace, ten suited. They have the jacks. What a hand. We just need an ace here. Or another ten. One of these. What a strong hand from him. Too bad. Still alive. See a large raise and a small three bet. I think there's some dynamics going on with this guy being short. Be pretty polar and strong. Snap bets a third. And wins. Missed one other hand here out of the big raise call, check, bet tiny, call, check, bet, shove, fold. And begging this shit off of one bullet's really nice. Sold a little bit of action. Good luck to those who bought. Doing really vibing with this playlist right now. Kmart, you on YouTube full time from Grand Prairie, Alberta. What's up, dude? Run good. Dude, I was just in Grand Prairie. I just went up to Spirit River Rycroft. That's my hometown, Northern Alberta. Well, not really Grand Prairie. I never lived in Grand Prairie. Dude, I went and checked out their poker room too. They had one 10 handed game. They had one 10 handed game and five people on the list. And I was like, why don't you open two games? Like, no, we can't do that. God, some, some people run their poker room like it's so old. I was talking to a bunch of poker room managers in Calgary last night. It's not for a lack of effort, but people are just behind with the operations, you know? I just want the Calgary poker room to thrive. It's a big shove. It's a really big shove. Um, from the small blind, he just rips button, cut up, hijack, low jack, off at 27. What's his range? How low would his pair go? Maybe fives and sixes. Um, very, very close here. It's like a soft tournament. I could just fold. But then if this guy ever has some suited aces, a lot of ace, king, ace, queen, that's for sure. I don't think it's kings, aces, queens all that often, and that's why I'm going to call is like, it could be tens and jacks a lot. I guess it could be queens as well. But um, yeah, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call. Oh, good. We get the two to one advantage. She had the ace five. Nice for heaps in the eighty eight. Nice. Took my time with the decision. Beautiful. A six here. Unfortunately, busted the satellite. Probably going to be a V-pip here in some way. Um, the thing is, if I had a really strong hand, I would probably trap here a lot. I would probably, probably trap here a lot. I don't know. This hand is like too good to not 3-bet bluff here, though. I'm going to 3-bet... Uh, bluff from the small blind here versus the button open. Yeah, he's going to miss some of the opens, but he should still find like the full clip of opens. But I do, if I have aces or kings, I probably trap here a bunch, which is a like kind of an issue, right? It's kind of an issue. Too good of a hand not to try in this spot, though. 
Boom, we get that one through big time. Come on. A lot of interesting meta dynamics going on there. I did so good with the A6, I get it again. We did bust the satellite shortly, sadly. A6, we have five here and then 19. I think this is a hand we want to shove. I think this is a hand we want to shove. Versus a reg in the big blind. It's been a little bit tight, but. Yeah, shove is just gonna work too well here. I was deciding between min raising and doing something, but I'm just gonna rip. No! Six. Seven, a lot of sevens in the deck. Wow, I don't even have the diamond. Seven, seven of spades. Bang! Holy fuck, what a hit. What a hit on the river, unbelievable. We'll take that, Jesus, man. I'll take it and run. We'll take it and run. I'm a lucky son of a bitch. We'll take that and fucking get out of there. Jesus, man. Whew, 770k. What a, what a hit, what a hit. That changes the entire thing. Damn, I was really deciding between min raise folding or shoving. I decided on shove. We get snapped in the big blind by ace nine. Somehow we suck out. Boom. God, we're just so dead on the flop too to get shot. All right. Really short here with the bubble kind of close. We're gonna take it for four bigs. Shove is fine. I, I could be convinced min raise is better. I'm just happy uh, it worked out for us. Very lucky, very lucky. Should be doing okay versus the cutoff open here. Ooh, we're ahead. My hand is uh, better than theirs. Now we just need paint. Now we just need a paint cod. Ah, GG. We got lucky in the one that matters, that's for sure. Three quarters of a million. What a hit, bro. Ace died. Oh, man. When he snaps there, I'm just so devastated. Run good from Saskatoon. What's up in Saskatoon? Dude, I met some people from Saskatchewan. I haven't spent too much time in Saskatchewan. They have crazy poker tournaments, but I've never uh, gone to Saskatchewan for poker tournaments. A lot of people here, if you can guys, I mean, can hit me with the early like that would be appreciated on the video the subscription boom 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 what a hit on the river the offsuit seven I, I was dead to what on the river 30 percent pre got worse on the flop worse on the turn i think i had three outs a three outer bink come on Massive. Where? Peter Ertz. Does Toronto have a good poker environment? I don't think they have much live poker, but I have no idea, man. I know Calgary does. Four. Ooh, aces and fives. Dawn. I'll get back to my big blind right away. He shoves six and he puts it in. I probably have to go with this hand. Side pot here. 
Probably the bottom hand I call with. But uh, it doesn't really matter. I have pocket eights. Got some big stacks here now. We got Joseph Chung on the button. Where the fuck do I really even start? Um, I could three back call versus Joseph. I could call. I could do both. I'm gonna three bet call, man. I'm gonna three bet call here. I just think Joseph's gonna four bet shove so many small pairs and suited aces in this spot here. So versus button, big blind versus button, I'm gonna three bet call. I could just defend. Then we take it down, which is honestly a fine result. I would never three bet fold that hand. If I three bet, I'm gearing up to battle. If I'm not willing to three bet call it off, I'll just defend pre. That specific hand would never fit into a three bet fold. I've been playing PLO at the GP Casino. It's a wild game. I know, dude. I wanted to get in it. I, I was there visiting uh, family and friends, and I went to the Grand Prix Casino, and I wanted to get in the game, but it was full. It was 10 handed. They have five people on the list. I was like, I want to play, man. Bro, poker operations, dude, good poker operations. You walk in and they will get you a seat. They'll always have seats available. The list, the list thing is bullshit, man. What other business do you walk into and you're just like, they can't serve you. You know what I mean? I just, it, it's crazy, man. It's crazy to me. I understand that you got a wait list or whatever, but you have dealers, you have tables. Like, why not get more people in the game? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, bet flop. I'm sorry, sorry, flop one check check and I bet turn. I really think of the best hand. They have a 10, jack 10. They have a lot of weaker hands here. I guess they could have some eights. Nine eight suited, eight eight. 10 eight suited would play this way. I don't expect a lead. And we get a lead. Guess I'll just fold, check call, check call, lead. Yeah, I just believe you. Okay, amazing hit there. We have 800K. That was a big pop. Somebody in the chat says, I never understand that move. When you're on the button and this guy has four bigs and this guy has 19 bigs, you can shove a lot of these offsuit ASX. You could make an argument, like I said very clearly, that min raising could be a better strategy. It's a little lower variance, but it's gonna be profitable to go all in. Unfortunately, Big Blind had a hand, but then if you're the original shover in No Limit Hold'em, it's very powerful because you can always suck out. The power to suck out plus fold equity. Being the first shover is extremely powerful. That's why you can shove a wider range than you can call. Joseph played a pot there. <laughs> Gonna go big for value here. In the daily main 
quick. Clearly the best hand. Whoa, huge pot blind on blind hero. Well, that makes sense. 80 bigs. 80 bigs. What a pot. Okay, I got ace three. Gonna open off a 50, UTG seven. I like my suited aces. They're fun, they're playable, they're cute. This guy's got 1.4 million now. Flat from the button. He's ever going to slow play the big hands here, especially after losing a big pot. Pair heavy, suited Broadway. He'll have some King Queen, some Ace Jack. But Ace Jack will mix three bets. We flat Ace 10. It's marginal. Small blind comes along. Joseph. Hmm. I will muck, but I'm suspicious. I will muck my hand, but I am suspicious. Nice play from Joseph. That could easily be light, but... I need the Queen Ten of Hearts to four bet there, you know what I mean? I just have to wait for the Queen Ten of Hearts. At the 1k final table. How did that money go in there? It was button open. It's a huge pop. Button open, 3-bet shove, call. Ace-king wins a huge one. What a nice suck out with A6. What a huge, huge suck out. Couple shorties to my left. Couple of medium stacks. Dawn's been active. Playing a lot of big ones. Where? How's the stream on kick going? It's there. I got 17 viewers on kick. And we're currently at 2,000 viewers on YouTube. Folding the jack three. Folding the jack five. Public enemy is the new chip leader. Ooh. Tens versus deuces. Doing really well here in the crazy eight eights here. What's up top? 10K, I got a really nice stack. Flash. What do I do here in the satellite? This guy shoves five bigs or he just min raises? I'm just gonna put it in. Oh, that's why he min raised. <laughs> that's why he min raised. Hey, back to the main event. I'm gonna open here in the cutoff. Yeah, there's some short stacks that could shove here, but eight seven suited is going to be a raise. Unfortunately, button piles. Got 1700 locked up, 1650. 
Pretty good off of one bullet for 500 bucks. What is this? I raise and we get min 3 bet from Suck a Goose. Don't really know what to make of it, to be honest, but I got trips. I hope it was uh, aces. If I just call and turn goes check, check. Nah, we're gonna two bet here. I'm gonna two bet here. Now I can check. All of it. Interesting hand. Very interesting hand with the min three bet preflop. Kind of tough for me to know where I'm at, but I'm just going to put it all in. Second goose, give me the bounty. I think they just had a side. Chat, what is your opinion on Drake, the Canadian superstar? What do you think about Drake's music? What do you think? I'm curious. Lines are going up right away. Current average is 40 bigs. 4.1 million in the prize pool, smashing the guarantee. Poker is strong right now, specifically GG Poker. Steven Johnson, last time I was on vacation, you were playing a day two, you hit two, a 300k score. Let's run it back again. Yeah, dude, okay. Let's do that again. That win hundreds of thousands of dollars thing is a really good activity. Let's do it, man. Hey, Kevin from sunny Florida. What's up, dude? I went to Florida. No, I still haven't. No, I did go to Florida. Orlando's in Florida. I loved it there, man. I loved the weather. It was unreal. I'm gonna go here in the satellite. He just has enough broadways that like I'm doing fine versus checks back. Well, I pick up the flush draw, but. I really don't think I'm gonna win very often in the check check line. Maybe, I don't know, king, king something, king seven, yeah, okay. Lines are up, 10K, 20K. Couple of pots here. He goes over bet. We make a very funky uh, two pair. Guess we just check the two pair. Probably winning. No, they have better two pair. And then here, raise a flat small blind flop top pair. Bluffing here, it's a really good spot. It's 
a really good spot to bluff. It's a really good hand to bluff. Nice. Suck a goose. It's a really good spot to bluff. Oh, wow, he back shoves. A river trips here. He does have a lot of jack nine. He does have a lot of flushes. It's not exactly a three lean spot if he shoves. I'm going to put it in. Like he could play 10-9 like this. He could play jack-10. Like if we ever beat value bets, the money just has to go in. Um, but I do think we lose a lot. Yeah, I do think we lose a lot. Nice hand. Fun spot here. Raise a 3-bet. We get 4-bet. I'm just going to pile it, man. All the money in the middle. Just going to go with the queens. All side events compared to this. All side events compared to this. This guy's sitting out. I'm gonna do a jack four here. I think I might shove, it's like blind on blind. This guy's really close to the money. I think we're gonna try to pick up this 11 point, the 2.5. I'm all in. Thankfully he didn't have a hand. We just wanted to yoink those chips. A successful yoink. Where the fuck? I don't know. Threes now. Too much to shove, but I can flat button here for sure. Basically cut off open. Cut off open, I can flat button. Not the flop we wanted. Gonna check. Tough spot here, multi-way, 40%. Just gonna muck it, I think. I don't know, like after check and flop, him betting turn is pretty strong. We can hit a three, even a diamond, it's just, we're just clueless though. I think we just have to fold. I think we just have to fold. We're just dead versus so many of his delayed bets. Dead, dead. It's one of those spots where like could be fine, we could be folding a lot of equity, but we could just be dead. Get a ladder. 1878 locked up. And we're gonna go on break. Alright, main event. A couple of other hands here we'll play. 
going to raise and squeal if we get action in the 250 daily main. Get a little bit. Let's go over here to the crazy 8-8s. I think I'm gonna play a small check race here. Not flush draw, a whole huge amount of equity. Winner. This guy check raises, it's really big size. Definitely gonna appeal, I bet floppy check raises. Never has any pairs. It does have 4x, but that's a really big size. Turn a club. Calling. Queen on the river. Going to be calling all in here, I think. Yeah, I just think we always win. <sighs> Pretty shocking we don't have the best hand here. the best hand probably the entire way i mean no they could have an eight like this they could have a lot of like king eight jack eight eight six yeah ten eight beautiful huge pots good stack there all right guys thank you for watching a lot of people here hit that sub button Day two, baby. We got really lucky. We have 650k. We're going to take a run at this thing, man. Bracelet, 308k for spot. Hopefully, we can call Graham at some point today. I'm going to play a uh, YouTube video. Where the fuck do I really even start? Oh, I feel like a big bag of dog shit today, man. Why did I drink alcohol? Because it was fun. It's fun. Brand new YouTube video today. Brand new YouTube video today. I guess I'll just, uh, let's play the new video. You're right back. Boom! Scoop that one! Am I just fuck? Oh my god, this is horrible. This has not worked out very well. Boom! Scoop that one! Am I just fucking bang off the big game here? I'm not gonna lie. Oh! The deuce! But we're all in here. Tens for a bounty. Flipping for a bounty. Let's get some bounties going here, I think. I think it's time to get some bounties going. It's looking really good for a bounty. Boom! $50 bounty plus chips. Good spot, guys. We likely have him crushed for a bounty here. With King-9. Yes, they have Jack-10. 4-1 to one favorite. Still a 4-1 to one favorite, even though the outs have changed a little bit. We win. We make a straight. I was worried. I thought he made two pair. Boom! $50 bounty. All right, interesting hand here. We're really rolling now in the 215 big game with $100 in bounties. He raised, I went for a three-bet bluff. This guy cold called. Very curious. I guess I bet quarter on this board. This guy cold calls. What the fuck? Now I'm going to check. Pretty good river. Let's see his nines and tens. And I guess we just click the call button? Like, what else could we do, you know? Hopefully you're bluffing. Nice, tens, beautiful birds. Come on, another big pot. Do I look like Tyler One, kind of? You ever see that Tyler One guy play League of Legends? I raise low jack. Gonna be a little tighter in this spot because I'm short. Okay, really nice flop. Jack six three two hearts. Let's go quarter. Hits me with the check call. I do you think a lot of the four two suited four seven the main straights would play check raise on the flop? No, nah, I don't want to get check shoved on. That would be a huge waste of equity. That was a good river. It's a really good river. He might not put me on a flush either. I'm going to go half pot. A nice size to get called by a jack. Uh, I'm going to bet. 
We get snapped, which is kind of nice. We get snapped by a six. Nice. A six just snapped it off. Okay, over here, raising 130 away from the money. I raised 98 suited. Okay, really good flop here. We have a high equity hand. We cover him for a bounty. We have a range advantage. We're going to start with check, but this is a lovely situation. That's small. If I check raise and they put it in, we can run it, but that's not particularly good. I think I'm going to continue with the check call. 40% is a pretty big size. That's the nuts. Guys, I have the fucking nuts. Get the nuts in the chat. I know we don't have our emotes yet, but can somebody please put the nuts in the chat? Bet, bet. Really tough for him to be stone bluffing. Queen nine, king nine, nah. Don't think they bet a 10 like this. I think they just have it, maybe. I just really don't think they're bluffing. I think they really like their hand. I'm just gonna get it in. I just don't want rivers to come to killer action. I think they have a hand that they really, really, really like. So let's just put it in. If he folds, it's tragic, but I mean, I feel pretty good about this. Versus some players, I would just continue this low play, but not here, no. Boom. Dead! Bang! $125 bounty. Massive stack. Nice read, nice read as well. And look at this board. I have top two. Raise, I just call, call, call. Gel Perro, man, Gel Perro has something. I'm just gonna call here because we can get the check shoves coming in. But Gel Perro has something. Hopefully we can just find a brick on the turn. Wow, there's the check shove, and they have something. If they have ace king, they're just gonna put it all in. Guys, huge fucking pot here. Huge pot, we should be a big favorite. Yep. Yep. Hopefully they just have ace jack and are dead. Ace king? Wow, they have ace queen? Oh my god, this is horrible. This has not worked out very well. This has worked out horribly. It went from the best spot ever to a disaster. What a disaster. <laughs> it literally went from me thinking I was gonna destroy them, both of them, to one guy having my same hand for the side pot and then us both needing to fade a flush draw. Okay, I got the jacks here. All right, so we're back. Uh, really good river here. It's just a check turn because small blind range is a little more condensed. I don't think they'll ever have Queen Jack off. Now I'm feeling pretty good about my hand. The race. Can be a lot of king queen king jack king 10 can also be a bunch of uh worse ace x i'm gonna raise beautiful pot Crazy eights, man. It's a gorgeous pot. Uh, this is weird. I open cut off big blind defense. He leads. I am going to float. Not the best turn. Anyway, back to the main event. Should I play the millionaire maker today? No, not today, unless I satellite in. Jack 10 suited, I think I'm just gonna play a flat here. Hijack opens, I'm gonna flat off a 30. Boo, what a bad board. What a bad board for my range. What a bad board for my hand. Snap checks. What a bad turn.
580k. King Jack on the button. Big pot over here with two pair. Should normally have the best hand. Oh, never mind. We're top two. We're screwed. Okay, I'm going to be all in here. There's 13.7 here and then seven there. I'm all in. We're just going to shove this hand. Kind of wants to shove. Hopefully we can pick up that 50k without action. All in. Nice, we picked up that 50k without action. Dude, the funniest thing that happened last night at this wedding. I gotta tell you guys this story. <laughs> I gotta tell this, this story. I gotta tell this story. The funniest thing happened at this wedding. A bunch of fun- Man, we, me and my friends went to this thing and we fucking laughed our ass off. Dude, when you're hanging out with good friends and you're just like cracking each other up and the jokes are flowing, there's literally no better feeling than laughing your ass off with good friends. And we had so many laughs last night. Deuces. I'm just going to open fold the deuces, honestly. Reg, reg, reg. I don't really want to raise call anyway. It's like, it's going to be forest plus there. Okay, so last night, uh, beautiful wedding, Haven and Salmon, gorgeous wedding. And, you know, like, speeches are great. Speeches are great. Especially from the groomsmen, the maid of honor, the best man. I want to hear what those people have to say, right? Because they have deep relationships with the people getting married. But sometimes some other people get on the mic and it's like, what the fuck are these guys talking for? And anyway, that happened last night and some funny shit happened. I'm going to raise ace queen here. In the low jack. I'm going to raise ace queen in the low jack. Blinds are up to 25k. These day twos get speedy. We're already down to 500 players. I raise low jack off at 25. Holds to this guy who's having a hell of a day too here. Avic Arg. Calls. Three small cards. Six five deuce. It is rainbow. Um. It is rainbow. I'm gonna play check back with this exact hand. This is not a pure bet spot. And let's check back the ace queen. Turn ten. You should probably play check or big bet. Let's see what he plays. He plays check. Happy to play check with this amount of equity. Have a swing. Hi, baby. Good. Good start. Got a good start Have to the day, too. Good, good, good. I mean, a little hungover, but... Honey, can we win here with ace high? Yes. Look, I have ace high. Come on. Boom. Let's go. Okay, love you, babe. I love you, too. I'm telling the stream about this story. <laughs> I'm telling him all the stories from the wedding. Which one? Uh, I'm telling him all the stories, but now I'm telling him about what I told him. Oh. So okay, <laughs> okay. So I, like I said, when you're too honest sometimes. This is what. So the wedding. No, but like he asked me, honey. So like groomsmen, bridesmaids. Anyway, speeches are fucking great. But now everyone's hammered. Like everyone at this wedding's <laughs> hammered, and a couple other people get on the mic, and a couple people, and like the speeches are really long. Like I feel like. You got to have the self-awareness that you're a co-character in that moment and just like, you know, rip it off. What do you got to say? Do it really fast, right? Anyway, bless this guy. Seems like a really cool guy. There's a French guy that gets up there and he does like, he probably does like 12 minutes, right? Oh, uh, it, was, it was long. No, he literally does like a 12 minute speech and like nobody's paying attention. The food is being served. And anyway, this guy, after his speech is over, he goes out into the hallway and he's asking people. I think he was a little insecure about it. He's like, how's my speech? How's my speech? And everyone's like, bro, it's great. It was really good. You're really funny. And then he looks at me and he's like, Kevin Martin. He recognizes me. He's like, Kevin. He's like, how was my speech? And I was like, dude, you, you did fine. And he's like, and then he said, he looked me right in the eyes. He said, no, honestly, what's your honest opinion about my speech? And I'm like, Oh, you want my honest opinion? I was like, okay, I'll give it to you. I was like, bro, it was way too long. I was like, dude, you took up way too much time. And he looked at me, he's like, really? I was like, yes, dude, yes. Like, and he was so, uh, I didn't mean to hurt him, but he asked me for my honest opinion. 
And he's like, I was like, dude, your content was good. The things you were saying were hilarious, but you just took up way too. That could have been a four minute speech, bro. It could have been a four minute speech. And he's like, he was like fucking devastated. And then I went and he did drugs in the bathroom. I'm pretty sure. So, so that's, uh, that's what happened. <laughs> I'm serious. That's what uh, <laughs> Is that you were there, baby? Is that not what happened? Peely was dying. <laughs> Peely was dying. She couldn't even hold her laughter. In. If you ask Kevin something, expect nothing but. The I wasn't truth. gonna say anything, but he quote, "Give me your honest opinion." I was <laughs> like, "Okay, to, if you want it." To do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> He's never gonna do twelve minutes ever again <laughs> after that. Uh, I love you. He was, I think he was hurt, but then he's like, he, he actually looked at me. He's like, you know, he's like, thank you for not bullshitting, man. He's like, I really appreciate that. So, shout out to that guy. He was funny. He, he actually was funny, but it's too long. Uh, what's up, man? Game, are you greaseball? How you feeling? What up, Peter? Peter Matichuk. I'm feeling all right, bro. We had a fun time last night. How you doing, Pete? Pete's a good friend from uh, high school. Pete, we're final 500 here with 380k up top. Shorty here. Life's good, man. Life's good, Pete. I was a little hungover this morning. <laughs> Dude, we had so many laughs. We had so many good laughs. God, it's just so good. Man, I'm really tempted to make a play here. gonna make a little play here gonna make a little baby play here bubble looming he could be polar gonna make a little play versus Leonid interesting anyway back to the main event He shoves four. I was gonna call four, but when this guy calls, I will fold. Good thing we got out of there. They just have monsters. Flops a set. Flops a set. Haven's a smoke show. Haven's a legend. I, I'm a big Haven fan. This is weird. I went for a bluff. I should just put it in, deny equity. I don't think he's going to bluff it off. I don't think he's super polar anyway. Once I call, I don't see him bluffing it off. Oh, this is such a bizarre hand. I'm just going to put it in. Oh, we're fucked. He's had a monster. Oh, whip. He had an absolute monster. <laughs> what a punt by me. What a punt. Oh, so much fun, man. I'm really blessed, man. I have so many cool friends and like, there's so many interesting people in Calgary. Feel socially full after a nice, a nice event.
That's some nice chips, 250 daily main, but again, these are all just uh, side events for the main event here. What's up, everybody? If you're new to here for the channel, what's up? Uh, my name is Kevin. I live in Calgary. Full-time poker content creator. Four hundred seventy three left. Appreciate you guys. So we're attempting to make a day two run. Classic Canadian. When do you should see Newfie's wedding? Dude, ca Canadians are so wild, man. It's so good, dude. I love Canadians, man. I'm going to shove here. We kind of super punted on the bubble. He just had this massive hand. 20 away. Going to shove. Hopefully, we just get it through. I got ace queen. I'm gonna play min raise. UTG seven. Final twenty five. Gets a really good flop for my hand and my range just gonna go small here versus a looks to be a reg top two now never has ace king there's a bunch of flushes though bunch of flushes he leads small Queen. Ooh. Interesting. Do I bluff? Do I turn my hand into a bluff? Nah, surely this isn't bluffing. Just gonna beat enough stuff. It'd be nice to get small flushes to fold, but. I don't think we win all that often, man. I think he might just have a small flush. Top two. Wow, Jack 10. I wish I had a worse hand so I could bluff. Okay, no problem, pocket jacks now. Tough turn card there. Pocket jacks. Eight, six, five. Is he going to lead? I'm going to shove. I'm definitely going to raise go with this hand. Yeah, he could like flop a set or a straight, but does he lead for pot for those sizes? I'm not sure. All in, you guys. Good luck with the jacks here. William Wolf. Feel good about the no snap call. Feel really good about the no snap call. Take it down. It's a big pot, honestly. It's a really big pot. Back up to 650. Come on, let's go. Let's fucking go. What a fucking hit. I'm down here for a second just because this will be a defining one, I think. Cutoff opens.
just gonna go the whole way right here. He's gonna have a bunch of ace king floats. If I bet five, he calls it's twenty. Yeah, I think so. Could go a little smaller, like twenty four hundred. Just never folding this hand. Very good shape for us. Very, very, very good shape for us. No! Dang it. Yeah, we get it in so good. Happy with getting the money in that good. 86% or something. Too bad. Means we're going to get lucky in the main here. Nice, we get a full double here. Flush versus aces. Already $2,100 locked up. We've had a couple of top 100 runs for a bracelet. We're fine, 600k. Nice to get that jacks. This is, this hand's really sad to lose. I had a feeling like we're never gonna win with this showdown, but. Six hundred K. Camera, thoughts about moving to Ontario for their gated base? I'm going to go visit Ontario sometime. I don't think I'd move to Ontario full time, but at some point I want to go visit and, and test out the GG online client, see what it's all about. Definitely. It'd be interesting to play against that player pool. Call River is the best here. Check Call River is the play. Give me a chance to bluff his miss straight draws. Now we just win. This is a fun spot. I raise flat. I think there's enough money in there. I'm just going to put in my stack. All right, I mean, fuck it. We can just get this guy in there. This guy's such a gambler. Let's just slow play. Slow play, go with it on any board, basically. We kept him in there. Hey, big pot. 70 bigs with 80%. I like it. Trips. I'm moving to Calgary from the UK. Any tips? Hey, enjoy the city. It's a beautiful city. Welcome here. Are you moving for poker? Or are you moving for something else? I really think Calgary could become like the place for a lot of people to chase their poker dream. Are you fully on YouTube? Yeah, we're also streaming on Kick for the first time today. Just testing out the platform. Testing out Kick as well. If you guys want to watch on Kick? It's an option. YouTube's my full-time home base, though, for sure. Just flowing, man. Having fun. Mm-hmm. 
Just 400 people left in the mini main. East 10, East Jack 10, 9. This guy's having himself a hell of a day so far. He's an absolute having a hell of a day. We're going to open Jack 9 suited. UTG 7. Raise. This guy flats off of 18 bigs. Interesting, they never have ace king, but I have this kind of medium hand with a pair and a straight draw. I don't think I'll ever have king nine. I don't think I'll ever have nine eight. I don't think I'll ever have sets, but he has a lot of like king queen, king jack, ace queen, ace jack, all that stuff. Let's start with a check, I guess. Check call three, but this is uh Not my favorite spot to be in. I just never win. I just never ever win. I just pray is King Ten or Ace Ten. Fuck, I just never ever win, man. Versus his range in this spot, it was a nightmare from the start. But I think just check calling, check, check and fold, like. Tough one, no problem. 14 bigs. We're fine. Just a couple tough hands where we just like hit these boards. We just have pieces, pieces plus equity, and then we put in some money, don't get there. Never check folding flop. Dude, I had a great moment with a reg last night. I'll tell you about it. I had a great moment last night. It was like one of my favorite moments just because... Um, Again, like, dude, it was like a poker player convention. I haven't seen a lot of these guys outside the poker room, and, like, I'm a competitive, intense dude. So I don't think they've seen, like, the human side of me very often either. But at this event, everyone's just chilling, letting loose. And then there's this one guy named Kareem who's crushed the Calgary poker scene for, like, 20 years. He's probably the all-time winner in tournaments here in Calgary. And when I went on some massive runs before... Um, let me play this hand. Button open. He's going to find probably an appropriate range. Going to defend uh, Jack 10 off here. Let's smash it. Flop middle pair. Goes for the quarter C bit. Calling. Turns a four, pretty good card for me. I'm not gonna play lead though. Checks. I don't think there's a point of blocking. He doesn't have too many eights as played. Maybe there is a point of blocking. Just always betting his good kings on the turn, right? I'm gonna block. Nice win, come on! Back to 600.
Back to 600. Fighting. Big time win there. Gonna be another ladder right away. I'm gonna play a limp here off of 15. And I will fold to neck. Okay, story. So last time, this guy named Kareem, he's crushed the Calgary poker scene for like 20 years, right? And like, I haven't played much live in Calgary, but there was years there I went on these crazy runs in 2017, 2018, 2019, where I was winning tons of tournaments. And like, how it always worked out in these tournaments is like, he would get a huge stack, final couple tables. He always had tons of chips, and I always had tons of chips. And he was like the alpha from the old generation. He was the best player from the older generation. And I was like this new talent, and I was feeling my own game. Anyway, we just had so many battles. We had so many heads up battles, made tons of final tables together, and uh, he, he never, we never liked each other because we never liked each other. Cause like, I don't know, it's just kind of how it goes, right? Like me being the new talent in the poker scene, like winning a lot, talking some shit. I mean, I never talked too much shit, not on purpose, but like he, we were threatened by each other, like two competitors, like him being in the tournament was never good for me. Me being in the tournament was never good for him. And I don't know, there's a lot of words said and like it's intense comp competition. We're playing for a lot of money. Anyway, over the years, like, and then at the wedding, I saw him, I'm like, I'm gonna go talk to this guy. And I was like, you know what, bro? Like I always respected your game. Like you're the best player, you know, and you've crushed for a long time. And I know we've butted heads and, and, and we're both competitive people. And he said the same thing to me. He's like, bro, I respect your game. He's like, you're one of the best players I've played with. Like you're unbelievable. And so we had a nice little handshake and we kind of like, I don't know, in my mind, buried a little bit of beef. It was like really sweet, actually. It was a really great moment. I really enjoyed it. Dude, I used to like carry animosity for my like competitors in poker and even in content. I used to have some animosity for other streamers. Like I used to carry it in my heart. Part of it used to drive me, like fire me up. Well, fuck these guys. I'm going to show them like and it, I used it as like fuel for motivation. But now, dude, I have no animosity in my heart at all anymore. Like all these old competitors, I now follow them all on social media. Uh, I'm going to shove ace nine here versus cut off. It's just going to be too good. Going to print a little bit too hard with it. So it's really good, man. So we buried that. I, I've ha I have like, I don't know. There's been like, oh, it's very bad to get called here. Very bad to get called by this hand. We're destroyed. Still, I think the spot's pretty pure to take. He has the straight and the nut flush. She's going to win. It was a really nice moment. Dude, I used to carry like beefs, animosity in my heart, but I don't know. Shit I went through this summer, I went through some pretty intense stuff and I grew a lot. I just don't carry any of that anymore. In my heart, there's just, it's all free, dude. I don't, I don't hate anyone anymore. I don't carry beef. I just like have respect for people. Um, I need to just bluff here. No. It's like a good feeling, you know what I mean? I feel lighter as a human. Less intense, just a little bit of a more receptive, connected person to the universe, you know? It's a really good feeling. Mutual respect between competitors. You can go battle, you can battle your ass off, but then... I like it. I like it. It was a great moment. Great night last night. Great night last night. Big time reviews. 500k here. All right, we launched the ace nine into cutoff. I'll never make apologies for taking good reshove spots, though, even if they don't work out. This will be a shove in the crazy eights. What do we got locked up? We got 152. Do I have fold equity with 3.6 bigs? 
Tank for ladder? No, it can't happen. Okay, that's not bad to see. A queen is live. It's not looking good. A 10 doesn't really help me. GG. We cash the crazy eights. But that is all. Aha, I'm still alive. Still alive. Pretty much what we bagged today, we're still at here. Ooh, I get it in good for a big blind. I get it in good for a big, what a skill play by me. That's all in no matter what. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, dim, dum. Doom, 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 doom. I'm gonna be a little bit lighter on the registration today, just because I'm planning to stream probably a full day tomorrow, and I really want to focus on the uh, the main event here, obviously. Queen Jack off. Okay, this guy opens under the gun eight off of 22. Gonna get a defend for me. Nope. Boom, boom, doom, 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 wolf. Whenever you're short and get a shove through, you just pick up such a big percentage of the stack. Big cards coming, big premiums. King ain't suited, not a premium in this spot. Okay, launching the Queen Jack suited. Unfortunately, we get called in a bad position. Oh, we're live and fine. Live and fine and any of these cards to win? Queen Jack or a 10? No. Busting some other games. Twelve big blinds. Lighter schedule today, you guys, because I'm planning to stream tomorrow. Okay, he's 10. Here we go. Got another ladder. 2.4K locked up off of one bullet. So we were making two grand in this tournament no matter what. I'm going to be all in, you guys. I'm just shoving here for 11 bigs. Preferring no action, if we can add the 88k to our stack, that would be great. But uh, here we go, good luck. Come on. 12 bigs in the day too, let's get this shove through. Ace 10, I'm all in. Nobody home. This is the nobody home head nod. Two down, two more folds. Nobody home. Yes. There we go. Up to 500k. Nice to get that shove through. A nice little shove to get through. I got 14. Blinds going up soon, though. Do I open the queen 10, UTG 7? The answer will be no. I'd maybe consider king 10 a little bit more. Dun, 
to. Again, I really appreciate everybody tuning in. We're chilling. Hopefully, we just go deep in this thing. Nice upswing right now. I'm in a very, very nice upswing. Just need to sustain. If we game select, play hand by hand, we should be all right. Ace four is not gonna be it. The fake pocket aces. Let me play this hand here. This guy min raises blind on blind. Checks the flop. I'm going to check. Going to call here. I don't think an eight's very likely. They of course have some king jack, jack ten. Most of that bets the flop though. Gonna call here with a pair. King, interesting. I got a pair of deuces. Nine ten. Yeah, this guy raises UTG seven. Been tight so far, probably pretty strong, but getting one pig to defend here. I think we can get in there. Let's flop something nasty. UTG 7 off of 15 bigs. I'm going to give him a full tight range. Horrible flop. Horrible flop. I enjoy none of it. An absolutely disgraceful three cards. Okay, we got 10 bigs. Playing a little three bet pot here. I raise, he three bets small out of the big blind. Flop top pair, interesting. He has like a polar ace X, king X heavy range. He'll have like king five, all this stuff that's close to dead. And of course, he'll have the top ace X, but I don't think he's three betting like ace nine, ace 10 pre. I will be folding, kind of a good card because he can now bluff with like king seven, king nine. I'm all in with ace four. Oh, that's a bad hand to see. That is a bad hand to see. Breaking some tournaments on the side, but we're making good money here, kind of laddering, honestly. 2.8's the next one. But I need a double up. Kmart, do you hack darts? No, I don't smoke cigarettes. The singer of Smash Mouth died today. Oh, wow. Well, they say the years keep coming. They don't stop coming. No, I don't hack darts. I'm going to shove. It's a big shove, but after a raise in a weak flat, we can bomb in the threes here profitably. Hey now, you're a rock star, get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. Oh, he puts it in. No. All right, now I'm meant to be in this thing. Damn, such a wide button open. Such a weak flat. Hey, big pot in the satellite. Have him dominated with dead money, you love to see it. Nice, come on, let's satellite into the Millionaire Maker. Big stack. 
Waiting for some big hands here. Day two. This hasn't been a horrible day too. We've just won some pots, but then there's been some sticky ones for sure. Just like some bad flops, some bad situations. Raise and a shove, a snap, a big pot. Ace King suited, Ace King suited. Wow, what a sweat. What a sweaty flop. Oh my god. That's got to be tilting for 1.6 million. That's got to be really frustrating. Bad, bad golf. Do you ever three-bet bluff off of 15 bigs? Sometimes in ICM scenarios, but very rarely. You feel like such tight play? No, I've just had bad hands, bro. I just had bad hands. I shoved days 10, but... I'm not playing tight. I just haven't had any pairs. haven't had any... Three hundred thirty-two are left. We're accumulating some ladders again, which I'm not going to complain about. But eight thousand seven hundred in the starter, one double, baby. Give me a double. Give me one double. Chakris. Interesting one. Beautiful half a million chip in the middle. here running clubs brutal for him if he has a queen wow turn to flush he's a queen wow good river for him Spicy one. 10 deuce, not going to be it. Okay, good news is we're going to get a ladder right away, and then we're probably going to pay the 40k big blind, but didn't really have any hands there to shove. Good spot here to raise call. Should always have him dominated, right? Oh, no, he has the little pair. I feel like we're going to lose this one. Wrong, maybe. Wow, I feel like I'm going to lose, and I make aces full of kings. Bad read by me. Okay, do you still play flip and goes? Not as much, not as much. I do some bet the flop, I'll do some flip and go bracelet events. I'm just a tournament guy. Just a tournamental guy. Hey, we got a ladder. I'll take it. Getting off of one bullet. This is a nice hit already. It's a nice hit. 2.8k. Just need a double. Hopefully this hand doesn't take three minutes so we get the 40k big blind.
How much you've got in tournament earnings of cash for 1.5 million on GG? They get it all in. Set versus combo draw. Oh, wow. Nice hand to set. Wow. Some nice pots for this dude. Okay, give me a hand in the big blind here. Eight five suited. Probably find the defend for a big. One double, we're back in this thing, man. Just one double. I can't do much with the 8 high, 10 high, 10 high, 10 high, jack high, 7 high, 9 high. What do I do if it folds to me? Do I rip the 8 6? No, I don't think so. Three hundred two or three twelve. We need some serious heat. Shoving a call. Need a very nice hand in the big blind. This guy's doing quite well. He's having a nice little run. William says, "Good game. Good game, William." I'm gonna turn on the card peel. See if we can manifest us some strong hands. Jack of clubs, deuce of clubs. Line's going up soon. We need it. Come up. 50k big blind coming up. Ooh, I feel... Did you feel that, guys? Did you feel the strength in this hand? I feel like I got two good cards here. <laughs> My instincts... <laughs> oh, it's 6-4 off. I'm trying. Oh, look at that. Trips. Ray short under the gun. Small blind flats. That's really small. Ooh, I'm surprised to see the check rip here on four, four, five. What is it? Just always like sixes through nines. All right, I'm gonna take a quick little break. We've got one last hand over here. All right, we have uh, a short stack, but we are alive in the bracelet event. We're hanging on for dear life. Well, I just haven't had many hands to shove. I'm going to be right back. A lot of people watching, guys, hit do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. I'm going to play a previous uh, video. This van brand new video came out today, and I'll be right back. We're going to spin this shit up. And we're in the money, I think. All right. It's a great tournament. 300 are left. 35K plus up top. A nice cash. Right at the start. 100, 100K starting stack. We're down to 30K, and we really clawed it back. Okay. How about you put it in? How about you put it in? Nope. Ah, uh, too bad. I'll take the 50 bucks. Not the best hand we wanted to see there, honestly. But a good flop. I like bounties. God, I like bounties. Heart's a scary peel. Boom. Okay, it's another 50 bucks. Give me the scroll. Every time you get a bounty, you have like a 0.01% chance to activate the, this or whatever. Give it to me. 29, 30 bigs. I'm going to raise this. 
I might drop 7-8 suited from the range, but I'm still going to keep the 9-10 suited in there. Okay. Double gut shot on this heart, heart, heart board. I think we bet quarter. Why do we bet quarter here? They could have king seven. They could have a seven, no heart. All their non-heart hands are in a world of hurt. So betting a small size to clean those up is usually good on monotone boards. And we do take it down. I might just fucking bang off the big game here. I'm not going to lie. Raising here, king eight suited. I'm going to go quarter here versus Annabelle. Nice. It's a really nice turn card. I need to bet bigger check here with my range. And if I bet six, they call that's 1220. Sets up pot on the river. I feel like that's very appropriate here. So I'm gonna go for a big size here in position. They never have ace king. They have king jack that doesn't check raise. Okay, take it down. We're up to 1.2 million. Keep it here with the tens. Uh, when I say UTG eight, I mean under the gun eight handed, under the gun seven handed. Low jack, high jack, cut off button. That's how I name the positions. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? My friends make fun of me. They're like, what the fuck are you talking about? They're like, what's a UTG7? Gonna raise the pillars here in the low jack. Top set on Kong Sing now. Six, seven off. He has a lot of straights here. By golly, he has a lot of straights here. Gonna go medium size here with the top sizzle. Hmm. He just has so much like jack nine, jack eight, king jack. I think we're gonna bet to a small size again. If he checks shoves, it can be a little puke in your mouthy, but I still think I just need to bet this hand. I still think I just need to bet this hand. So much ace jack, king jack, king queen. Okay, beautiful. Now what do I do? I just think if he's a 70 shoving the turn always, so it's like pretty crazy. How could I get called by worse though? You know what I mean? What's going on? What the hell's going on here? I don't think he ever has a seven. Queen Jack is a slow play, but that raises flopper subs turn. I know I have the best hand, so let's fuck with this guy a little bit. Let's do this. And then I'm gonna call off. Maybe this gets him to turn like Jack eight into a bluff or something. This is dangerous. Okay, nice. Huge pots. And here I have a straight. They bet flop, check turn. I'm gonna go small. Of course the slow play boats could be there. Really good river. Here we go, you guys. Big pot. There's a million in the middle. I really don't think this guy is a full house. I really don't think this guy is a full house. Pretty, pretty confident he does not have a full house. He's a lot of ace queen, queen 10, ace king, aces. I can fucking sense a full house and I don't sense it here. I'm all in. Call. Ace king, baby. Boom! $312 bounty and a boatload of cheddar. I'm telling you, this 210 big game, man. Come on, it's massive. Now here, this guy raises UTG7, but he's gonna be a little bit lighter. Oh, nice, he checks. Hmm. I really oh, the mic's on, honey, we gotta stop flirting. Barrel, right? So I'm gonna go small here. Okay, nice pot there. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Okay, 38 bigs. I cover everyone behind and look at Mr. Charlie on the button. I raise here, he puts in 6.4, gotta go with it. Let's win this one, $200 bounty and chips. A deuce or some clubs, how about a duck? One less than this one. Duck, quack. quack. Oh, the deuce. Come on! $206 bounty. Massive and back to 3 million. Very interesting with Charlie in there with the 140 bounty. I'm just gonna play min raise. I don't think I have to shove. If he's gone, maybe I shove because 20, 20, but just going to min raise here. Yeah. Okay, I don't really think I'm folding now. This is a really good potential flop. 140 bounty in the middle. I think we can just go small. Big blind is wide and capped. If he had any good hand, we'd hear from it pre-flop, like ace, queen, or okay. King, queen versus jack, 10. Almost dead. Got to fade a king, we have one of them. This is to get to almost three million, plus bounty, no king ball. Boom. Boom, 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 another 140 bounty. We're really rolling. We're really rolling in this thing, man. Another 140 bucks. I love knocking people out. Okay, I got a min raise here with the jacks. Pita flats. K 
Okay, pretty bad flop for my hand. My range is doing fantastic here. I'm gonna start with the check. Honestly, down to play this one passively. I don't really want to turn it into a bluff. I could turn eights, sevens into a bluff. I think jacks just want to be passive. I think I'm going to fold. I just have the worst hand to continue, I think. If you found a bet with eights and makes me fold a better hand, well done. But Okay, we're really deep here. Final 76 out of 2,000. All right, let's check out here. We really haven't had many hands here. I got 13 big blinds. We do have a very nice 1.6k locked up. Short here. If he puts it in, I might take my chance. Probably going to go with this hand. Yeah, I'm not folding. Good of his spot as we're going to get, even if he puts it in. Okay. Should be ahead in the side pot. He's going to basically call like any two. He has a chance at these insane double bounties. I'm going to take my shot here with the king nine of hearts. If we scoop this, we're back into business. All righty, let's go. King of diamonds, king, king, king. I got five bigs. I got five big blinds. I'm short. Got to find it soon here. Come on, I'll take anything. King, queen off. Five, three, not going to do it. Gotta find it! Under the gun. Jack of spades. Jack! 10, this will do. Here we go, you guys. Now we have fold equity. We have fold equity, nowhere near a ladder. Here we go, you guys. If we can pick up the 117,000, or if we get called, we just need to win. We just need one double to get back in this thing. I'm in. I'm all in. Jack 10 suited. He puts it in. Come on! To stay alive. Just don't be a hand that dominates me. Okay, that's fine. We can beat this. Jack or 10. That's a flush. I flopped a flush. No spades are left. Not very many spades are left. Let's not peel a spade. Yes, come on! That's what we needed! That's what we needed. Not bad to see this hand at all. And we we're up to 650k. Boom. That's what we needed. Stay alive here. A lot of money up top. Now let's get another one. Now let's get one more. Let's compound the double. He took the king queen. Credit to him, he was ahead. Flopped a flush. Crazy, man. Crazy how many people are watching the stream, supporting. It's really cool. An 8 7 offsuit. He shoves all in. 800 people started the day two, 300 left. Big time flop there with the jack ten of spades. Good reshove spots versus these guys. Ooh, king of spades. Three. Hmm. Versus a button open, I will fold. Grindenwald. I would have shoved blind on blind, but I'll fold versus a button open. Now one double just pumps so much more life in our system. Kmart's down a million dollars on GG Poker. Can you imagine? Down a million? Down a mill ball? Yes, we are alive. Alive in the day two, mini million. Got a 
couple other games on the side, but I'm, I'm stopped right. I wasn't feeling dialed in, honestly. I played a few other games, but I wasn't that dialed, so let's just play these games. Next ladder, still a ways away. Can we peel something here versus the all-in? We have an eight and a four. Next ladder, 263. Small blind calls though. Big blind gets it in. Big one. Oh, what a wild uh, get in here from 2-2. Two, two. He got it in three ways with no fold equity. Flops a four. Big time queen for this player. After shove, shove to put in the S4, there's a little curious. Come on, king. Give me the church. Oh. When you peel an ace and then you have a shitty offsuit eight behind it? I mean, I would have open shoved here. Where the fuck can I really even start? I got hoes I'm keeping in the dark. Do you guys like rap music? I quite enjoy some rap music. When you peel and you know your best card is the seven of clubs, you know you don't have a very good hand. If your highest best card, if your most powerful card of the two is the seven of clubs, you're kind of in trouble. I did sell a little bit of action for this. I did sell a little bit of action. I printed some money in the 1K mystery bounty the other day. Grindenwald, is the, he's a Harry Potter character, right? Raise flat. Satellites, I haven't played too many lately. Shove in here. Sylvan should claw, call off tighter and then two shorties. Got to accumulate. Big time double there, man. Big time double with the Jack-10 suited just to get us going. Now I pick up the... Hopefully there's a queen of clubs behind it. King six. Another deep run, 286. Dude, we've cashed a lot of the bracelet events. I mean, we're in for multiple bullets. This one's only one bullet. This one's only one bullet. Hakuna Matata. Here we go for the boys. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan, Master Life, David Baker. 7 deuce offsuit. I'm gonna call, but also three bit bluff sometimes. Eugene just wants to call this time. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. I'm gonna play a small lead here. I get to do a bunch of leading on this board. I'm gonna play a small lead. Moon Rekka. Calls. Turn. I think because my size is small, they definitely have ace-10, ace-jack, ace-queen, ace-king floats. I'm going to play big bet. I'm going to play a big bet. I 
to the main event. These seven in the big. Depends on some things. Nice, our bluff just worked. Okay, we're going to defend here. Low jack opens. Don't know too much about him. Just going to play defend, button cut up, hijack, low jack. Flop top pair. And this will be a deciding uh, hand for sure. He looks like a capable player. He just has so much like King Jack. Do I just raise, like go with this hand? Or do I just call and block eat the bluffs? I'm just gonna call. Seven. That's one big blind. Two sixty six is the ladder. I don't have any really good aces. All my really good aces shove pre, so he's gonna have the he might not have the queen ten off. Calling. King Queen bluffing. A hand like King Knight of Diamonds. Queen Knight of Diamonds. Nine ten suited calling here. Hard for me to have a three is played. He's three suited. Hey, so yam. Hmm. He launched it. He does launch it last second. I think we're gonna click the call button, right? Blocker wise, I unblock a nine, a 10, a queen, which is really good because he can bluff with queen 10. He can bluff with king 10. He's gonna unload it on this board. Does ace, queen, ace, king go for the full value? Probably, ace, jack. Yeah, you guys, this is gonna be a call. Are we good here like all the time? Hmm, it's a mix. But uh, show me the king nine. Show me the queen nine. Wow, he went for it all with the ace ten. Good games, nice hand. We cash for 2.8. 2.8 off of one bullet. God, man. It's tough. It's tough for me to escape that hand. A defend off of nine bigs, flop top pair. It is tough on those boards out of position. We cash for uh, 2.8K, 2.8K. Great results. It's great cash from 500 bucks. We fought, it wasn't easy. We didn't have a lot of good hands today. I almost raised flop, went with it. I'm definitely not escaping on the flop. I'm definitely not escaping on the turn. I don't know how I fold this hand on the river, right? I don't know how I fold this hand on the river. Credit to him, he found three straights with ace-10. He kind of pipped me. He played the hand really well, obviously. Uh, yeah. I think he played the hand really well. I don't think I played it bad either. I think Colin River's good. GG's, everybody. I got two games left, uh, but I'm not going to stream them. I got to do some work on my business. And uh, yeah, I want to gear up for a big session tomorrow as well. Big session tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we'll have Millionaire Maker. We'll have another bracelet event. Fuck, man. We keep running deep and building up chips in these bracelet events. I want to win. I want to final table. All good, man. I can't be upset with this last hand. Like, what am I supposed to do? I'm going to raise flop, go with it. We're probably just getting stacked here a lot. Maybe he provided an avenue to fold river. What am I, fold five bigs? I could call him five to win 20. He can be bluffing on this board. GG's, y'all. Good games, okay? Yeah, I got two games left, but I'm going to grind them out. Um, a little hungover today. I gave my best effort. I probably shouldn't have gotten fucked up yesterday. Before a day two, that never works out well for me. But also, it was a really fun human event, so I'm not going to give myself a little bit of grace. That's why I didn't play many tournaments today. All right, people, I really love you guys, and you're watching the stream, and fuck, I wish he showed me a bluff. GG's all.
hit the sub button. Brand new video came out today if you want some more content. Brand new video came out today. Feel really good about this river card in general. I don't think everybody hates Jack or like. I think sets and two pairs bet flop. Hmm. I guess I put in the last six bigs for the bounty. Nice, we get Jackson in the satellite. We win this one. You guys want me to stream play two tables? God, alcohol is so bad. Oh, we got a good, really good. Uh... Just need to fade the last ace for the side pot. We're still alive. All right, I'm gonna put it all in here. Boom! Hundred dollar bounty. Hakuna Matata. It's a wonderful phrase. Yeah, I'm gonna two table and work on my business, answer messages, and uh, if I go deep, I'll stream. If you see me live later today, it means I'm kicking ass in one of these tournaments, but I'm just going to mentally regroup for tomorrow. Fuck, I feel like a bag of shit, man. Alcohol the next day makes me feel awful. Peace, everybody. GG's. Nice hand to the ace 10. The journey continues. Again, brand new video went out today if you guys want to watch it. What else is going on? Oh, my God. I should say this. Guys, subscribe to our newsletter. Me and my team were launching our first ever uh, newsletter. We looked at newsletters around the poker world and like there's some good ones, but overall I don't think there's anything like outrageously special. If you go to my website, you can sub for the newsletter. I think our first one's gonna go this Sunday. Every single newsletter, we're gonna show the biggest poker wins of the week. We're gonna see who's crushing it. We're gonna do a giveaway. If you're subbed to our, our, our newsletter, you're automatically entered for a giveaway. And we're gonna show like the best stories from the poker world. And so yeah, you can subscribe to the newsletter on my website, kmrpoker.com. That's all I got. Much love everybody. Big session tomorrow. I'll see you guys then, all right? I'll see you guys then. Yes. This is crazy. We could play blank, blank, one night. Oh, get to man. lay around the house and day drink till the oh. afternoon. Thinking about the times that we had when this was all that we knew. When this song was still Deuce. new. When this Come song on, was man. still new. We could play wow. blank, blank, yeah. one night. The two summertime nights that we had every night. The more we can play blank, blank, yeah. one night. The two. <laughs> This final team was crazy, man.